Beastie Boy Band tore up the charts in the mid-90s with their very own brand of UK soul. It's been a while since they split back in 2001, so we thought it's about time we get them back for a chat. I'm very, very excited to talk to them today. It's the very lovely boys from Dummy. Yeah. yeah. What up? Hey. Hello. 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 Thank you. Hello. How are you all? Well, good. How are you? Good. I'm very well, thank you. It's great to have you here. It's, it's good to be here. here. Growing up, I was a big fan of Dummy. So it's nice seeing you. Was. Oh. Was. 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 Oh, still. Still. still <laughs> I'm still a big fan of Damage. Okay. Still sway to your tunes. Um, sway? Yeah, sway. You know, some of them are quite yeah, lovely, don't you? You want to sway and chill out. We'll and There's a couple of sway songs. A couple of sway ones. You know, let me off, guys. Did you say sweaty ones? Sway ones. Oh, okay. I, just, I was just checking. There's some sweaty ones. There's a couple of sweaty ones. Sweaty. <laughs> Um, now, let's rewind back to the 90s. You formed Damage when you were at school together. So how did the idea come about? Wow, we... Oh, well, uh, OK, I'm taking it back. Um, well, basically, myself, Jade, <laughs> almost, <laughs> and Russ, uh, we all went to the same school together. Um, Jade and Andre uh, were budding actors and they were doing a theatre show together. And um, basically came together, started singing, and it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. just worked. It worked well. Yeah. Cool. And how did you go about getting that record deal, though? Because that's always quite hard. We, we entered yeah. a lot of um, talent competitions um, and we, we, we gigged a lot around our local area. And um, it, we got our first deal when we entered a, a talent competition in Manchester. Yeah, right? I was going to say, tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there was this talent competition in Manchester from Only Manx. So we went up there um, pretending to be from Manchester. <laughs> not, not, not all of really us. really bad Mancunian <laughs> accents. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we, we got through to the finals, then we got discovered that we weren't actually from Manchester. I don't know how, because the, the, the accents were spot on. <laughs> yeah, but, right. um, yeah, we got discovered, but a, re a record company guy was on his way down to see us. So we, um, we still went up there and performed. And um, yeah, we got our first deal back in the early 90s, yeah. Cool. How did you celebrate when you got that deal? Did you all go out? I remember. Or we probably like a so... Rabina. <laughs> <laughs> we were very young. Was that young? <laughs> we remember going up to um, Oxford Street and buying Carl Can I trainers. <laughs> and um, I bought a, a full length feeler jacket. Nice. Um, I think oh, glass. Yeah, similar ones. Yeah. And that was the first time we went to the bank and your bank balance was incredible. Wow. And it was like, yeah, we're, we're wealthy. We've made it. <laughs> we <We're wealthy. laughs> <laughs> made it. So you just begun? Yeah. Just begun. Wow. It was fun. <laughs> that was my first purchase, Carl Can I trainers. Yeah. <laughs> And a moped. Anyway. Retro. Yeah, yeah, nice. high school. Uh, now, back in 1996, you first entered the charts and went on to gain four top 20 singles, Forever, Love Guaranteed, Wonderful Tonight and Ghetto Romance. What tunes. Um, so what was it like riding high in the charts back then? It's a bit of time, <sighs> you know, we are. We, now we look back on it, um, it, was, it was a bit of a whirlwind because we were friends anyway. Um, we just kind of travelled the world and did numerous shows. But it was a time when R&B and soul music wasn't really um, featured in the, in the mainstream charts. So mm. for Damage to have had so much success with that style of music, it was incredible for us, you know. Now when you look at the charts, r and is just really prominent, hip-hop, etc. Yeah. But at our time it wasn't. So mm. it was quite landmark to get, you know, top 20 or top 10 singles with an R&B sound. So it was a good, a good time. Yeah, definitely. Now, five young lads, pop stars, you must have had the world at your feet. Were you partying like crazy back then? Hard. Oh, they yeah. Did. Hard. They totally did. hard. <laughs> Those three. <laughs> yeah, Those three. No, we did. It was, it was, we was young, you know. We were successful and, you know, you could go to clubs and just walk straight to the front of the line. So it was, it was all good fun, you know. But, um... Yeah, we, we did we did our fair bit of party. Who was the one the next day turned up to interviews? Pretty, you know, still maybe partying or uh, a bit worse. No, for wear. it was the consummate professionals. Yeah. <laughs> even if we were still a bit worse for wear, you'd never know. Yeah, yeah. Men, many That's a good. Men, many a, a children's program. <laughs> yes, still yes. hanging or yeah. still drunk. Indeed. Yeah. But the, the funny thing is, we because we all kind of grew up in the in the in the industry. Yeah. Um, um, we kind of had that professionalism yeah. anyway, so we knew what we were doing, yeah. even if we were a little bit lagging. Yeah. Yeah. We mm. never cancelled shows. That's good. Never missed interv interviews. You know, oh, that's never... a lie. Yeah, yeah we, we did. We missed an interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Well, actually, we just didn't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we went to our... Um, Australia. 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 Oh, Australia. 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 Yeah. Once in ten years. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. We got to Bondi Beach and they wanted to move us on, and we said, we're not moving. We're staying here. We've been touring too long. We will stay on the beach. How often do you get to go to Bondi Beach in Australia, you know, and spend five minutes there? So it's like, boycott. You were divas for that one moment. Moment, moment, like, we're not yeah, moving. Yeah. 
And did you have a good time? It was, it was good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. good. Power. Power to the people. <laughs> Power to damage, for putting their foot down. Now, your debut album, Forever, was released in 1997. So what was it like recording your first album? Wow, that was an experience and a half because it took us about three years to record yeah. from, from beginning, from when we signed. And then you could see the, the difference in music, um, in the taste of music for us in terms of where we was going, direction, music direction. And it was just, just to hear that album come out and, and for it to do what it did for us was just amazing. We just, we just loved the whole process of recording, mm -hmm. doing a video, mm -hmm. releasing a single, touring it and, and seeing you know, people, people's reaction mm. to, yeah. to, cool. to the singles and stuff was absolutely amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. We worked with incredible writers on the first album, like um, Wayne Hector, Steve Mack, those people that went on to write for you know, the JLS Boys yeah. and um, Wanted, Wanted and Westlife, everybody else. So, Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at that time, <laughs> you know, a, a lot of up and coming writers uh, and producers were kind of getting into bed with damage. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's knowledge, I think we all know it. We all came up together, so it was, a really, it was a wicked time, man. In the studio, three, four in the morning, it was incredible. Making magic. Yeah. 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 What was it like going on the road and touring? Like, what would you guys get up to? Oh, it was pretty oh, easy. Mate. We didn't do anything yeah. bad. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I think we was notorious for, for being pranksters on, on the road. Yeah. When we was doing back in the day Smash It's tours. Miz. Um, Miz. Um, everybody knew that when, when we was going to go on the road with them. Be careful. Be very careful. <laughs> Who were the guys got, that got warmed? Was there anyone that you were like, OK, guys, just to... Did you go on any clean cut, like, pop bands? Would go on the road. Do you know what? They all pretend they're clean cut. Yeah. Yeah. Behind yeah. the scenes, they're not as good as they yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, they were probably worse than us, you know. They've like got this, these clean images, but they're a lot, a lot worse than we were, you know. Yeah. But we had fun, you know. It was good. We were young, yeah. just having a laugh on the road. It's good times. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So let's talk about your biggest hit, Wonderful, tonight. It went to number three in May 1997. Wow. Wowza. Do you have to mm. keep mentioning the night? <laughs> <laughs> I know. You were big in the 90s. It's like a history <laughs> lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the dates, but it's just good to be reminded by yeah. my God. Um, so whose idea was it to record that Eric Clapton classic? Wow. I think um, maybe it came A &R. from the label, yeah. yeah. A&R guy. We were trying to do something which would um, appeal to, you know, a different kind of demographic. Um, and on our first album, we did Wonderful Tonight. Second album, we did After Love Was Gone by Off Wind and Fire. Yeah. But with the Eric Clapton song, we just wanted to kind of spice it up, give it a bit of R&B. Yeah. 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 Mm. And um, I think Wayne Hector again came mm -hmm. in on that uh, with Steve Mack. Mm -hmm. um, and we just flipped it and it really worked. Yeah. I, do, I do recall when, when I first heard it, I mean, I knew the song from before, but when I first heard it, I thought, mm, can we really pull it off? Got a bit worried. Yeah, yeah. I did. It's I mean, a classic, it's a, it's, it is a yeah, classic yeah. and yeah. touching classics is always a bit, Iffy, so, um, but after we done it, it was beautiful, mm. yeah. It, it became one of like the most played songs at weddings, yeah. so it was great Probably for still us, is, you know? isn't yeah, it? Yeah, mm. yeah and, and even though Eric Clapton's version obviously is an amazing version, ours, ours was, was still up there, you know? They it's want still, a current sort of mainstream version, mm. they'd yeah. pop damage. Yeah. It introduced mm. Wonderful Tonight to a younger generation. Yeah. yeah. Yes, a lot of us didn't really know about yeah. Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight, so. And it was great for the band as well, because it introduced us to an older market mm. as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Ollie Burr's done it on, um, Oh, he did, yeah. He did, he did our version, and it's fantastic. He did indeed. Fan of Oli Mers, are you all? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's doing yeah. really well. He's got kid. the stadiums this year with Robbie, yeah. which is going to be incredible. He's a good performer. Yeah. Definitely. Um, now, you guys scored hit after hit with your first album, so what happened with the record label? Because you changed labels, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened with that? We made them go bust. Oh, <laughs> we, spent, oh we spent their money. We spent all their money. <laughs> <laughs> Taxis closed. <laughs> Too many no. taxis. I'll tell you, you're waiting <laughs> time for the uh, joke. Right? <laughs> silly. Yeah, they... Cause you're trying to wake up. They're like, yeah, taxis yeah. outside. No, Jade is still in bed. <laughs> it, is, no, no, joke. it got to a point where they actually said, um, you guys are not allowed to take public transport anymore. No. Yeah. So he was like, OK, so what do we do? Well, you get taxis everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> not knowing it's coming out of our money. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Didn't know Down either. to the chip shop. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, we, we left um, Big Life Records and we got picked up by EMI, which was a, a major label. And um, it, was, it was great because we got to be label partners with people like Coldplay, Jamelia, Robbie, Robbie Williams. Williams. So it was great. It was great for the band to introduce us to a, a, a larger market, mm. you know, for a different label. Yeah, they had more money. Yeah. More yeah. money to spend mm. on your taxis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but were you all confident with that move? You were hoping for bigger and better things. Yeah, it was time. We had to. We had to evolve, and um, 
you know, we had um, a lot of success at that time. Mm. So although we, our label went bankrupt, uh, you know, EMI were there, our audience was still there. So all we had to do was kind of marry EMI and Damage, create the Since You've Been Gone album, and then we flew. Perfect. So let's talk about the Since You've Been Gone album, because that was released segue, yeah. four years after, definitely, <laughs> yeah. four years after your first album. It gave us ghetto romance. Yes. Um, so why did it take so long to release the album, though? Again, I think, like with the first album, we, we, we're quite perfectionist, you know? We right. take our time, we like things to be right. Um, mm. And it's, it's just a matter of just collaborating all these great songs together. And it, it, good things take a while, you know? And we were growing up at the time. Mm. After the Forever album, we had a lot of success in um, Australia, Southeast mm. Asia. So we had to tour out there quite yeah. extensively. Yeah, right, yeah. And then we came back and we were kind of just growing from, you know, uh, young boys to men. And we just, we needed that time to get the, the sexy into our mm. music. So we were able to do that, you know? Okay. And also getting a deal right between us and EMI yeah. had to be done properly as well. So that took, I think that took the best part of a year actually yeah, to get that deal right. The right yeah. deal. And what does that mean for people that don't know, i.e. me, getting the deal right? <laughs> yes. Is it like just reading through the fine print and making sure? Yeah, yeah, the terms are yeah. right, to correct. Yeah. You know, royalties are correct. Yeah. Making sure we've got money in our pockets. <laughs> I see, this is the thing, because you can walk away with zero if you don't read fine print and whatnot, yeah, isn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. A lot, a, lot, a lot of bands, they go through back in those days, you know, there's a lot of pop bands that were around and they got duped by record labels, yeah. you know, they mm. just got put on a wage rather than being signed to and a label. And I guess at the time, know. if you're not really thinking about it and yeah. just living this exactly. pop dream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You realise at the end of it, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's all of the money I made? <laughs> yeah, it's not here anymore. That mm. was a good thing going from a, an independent label because we, we, we already learnt our craft. Yeah. We learnt about the industry mm. a lot before. Very so, wise, yeah. a smart move to make, yeah. isn't it? Definitely. Now, in 2001, sadly, you guys announced you're splitting up. So, what happened? Did Why'd we you... announce it? No, I don't think we announced it. Which one of you announced it? Announce it? Yeah, yeah, one of me. It was yeah. a surprise to all of us. <laughs> so, what, what happened? Oh, uh, we... Uh, well, let's, yeah, we, uh, let's be we, honest. Uh, we're just having an honest conversation. There's only five of you and five of us. <laughs> yeah. um, we, we had a meeting, the five of us, because, obviously, the Corey was in the band at the yeah. time. Um, and he had just... He felt that it was time for him to move on and explore other, other things. Um, we still had a lot of commitments show-wise, so the four of us continued. Um, and then after that, naturally, we just said, you know, we've done this for probably 15 plus years. Let's, let's kind of have some time and step in the real world and naturally just let it go. I think, I think yeah. it was actually a good thing for us because yeah. we had time to, to grow up as men. Obviously, yeah. we'd been together since school, yeah. so, you know, we were living in each other's pockets for a very, very long time. Yeah. And, you know, we needed that little break to give us that. Get back uh, to normal. Yeah, yeah, and some, yeah. some, some independence. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But because we didn't announce it as a split, so many people have grown up thinking, what if I Where? had to damage? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can slowly come back and... and then just, yeah, yeah, we're just on an island somewhere. Like, yeah, we've <laughs> always been there. <laughs> always been around, just doing our own thing. <laughs> Isn't it? Which is a good thing, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? If you want to make a big deal out of something, come calling back yeah. and they're like, why are they back? Yeah. They announced they were splitting up. Um, so what did you guys actually do when the band came to an end? Like, what did you all get up to individually? It's funny, yeah. Everyone kind of just went off, the, did their own thing. Um, we just went into different fields. I, I'd done a bit of chefing. I went mm. and became a chef for a while. And then, and we also grew, like you said, became men and started having families, yeah. you know? Yeah. We had kids and... Just have you all got kids now? Yeah. yeah, we've all got kids. Um, we're all around about the same age as well, oh. which is really, yeah. Yeah. Which is very lucky for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was mm. good. A lot of a lot of soul searching and um, just evolving. Went off and did some studies. Uh, became still, a studying. Yeah. still studying. Still studying. Still studying. Oh yeah, we're both still studying. Yeah, and you're studying as well. <laughs> and we're so into different fields. We, these, Jay, these, these are the clever ones. ones. <laughs> I just become a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I just love my food. So yeah, lots. We we did a lot. Had a family, took some time out. Yeah. Yeah. Was it weird going back to normality after being on the road for so long and travelling the world? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, it, to be honest, it, after the band split, it took me a year to actually get back into... Normality. Yeah, normality, yeah. yeah just, you know, yeah. stayed at my mum's for a year, just crying, saying, no, 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 no,
from Spice Girls, Baby Spice. Yeah. Love the Spice Girls. So how did that all come about? How did you meet Emma? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. wow. We're taking it way yeah, back. Way back. Been, how long have you been together We've now? been together... You yeah, know, right. Get it right, <laughs> Get it right boy. 15 years. Coming wow. on to 15 years. Yeah, 14 years. I remember. Coming on to 15 years. So she's always been a big part of our lives, you yeah. know. She's been around the boys from pretty much, well, uh, in the early mm -hmm. days. The early days so, um, yeah, we, we met at a gig. We all went to one of the... We went to the girls' gigs mm -hmm. many moons ago, and um, we just... Our eyes met across the table. Oh. Yeah, very oh, romantic. She, yeah. she was actually talking to Andre. Andre was trying to chat her up. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. it's Jan. <laughs> story. Oh, it's I wasn't trying to chat her up. I was just having a lovely conversation, <laughs> and then Jay just thought, you joking. know what, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to... You know, it may have worked out differently. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was always, it was always going to be Jane's, uh, Jane's missus. Was yeah. she always your favourite Spice Girl? Absolutely. Yeah. We actually saw the girls. Yeah. We, 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 was, we was touring, I think we was in Brighton yeah, somewhere. Brighton. They was actually, this is before they'd even come out, they was doing a, a, um, a photo oh, shoot on a carousel. Yeah. It's a really old picture of the girls, one of their first pictures they had out. And we was up there, tour, well, down there touring, and we was just having a little wander around, and we walked along the pier and we saw these girls on taking some photos on a carousel and we was like, right, that. that one's my one. <laughs> that one's your one, that one's your one. We stood on the pier choosing them. Yeah. Who did you choose then? So obviously you chose Emma. Who uh, yeah. did... I chose Mel B. OK. Yeah, I, think... I went for Mel B as well. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Popular choice. Yeah, yeah the crazy one. Because she had the, the curly hair, yeah. and she had the leopard print thing happening and I was just like, yeah, man, that's the one. <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> or that one. Jade was the only one that managed to get a spice. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Yeah. Um, so what does she think about you guys getting back together? Does she think it's good? Yeah, she loves, she loves it. It's amazing. We actually, we've um, done a couple of gigs, actually. We did a last... Mm -hmm. July, mm -hmm. June, July, July. We did um, Jazz Cafe, and as you know, she featured on one of our tracks yeah. on um, our second album, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, she came and performed with us. Oh. So yeah, she's she's always been a massive part of what we do, you know, yeah, yeah, and definitely. she's always big supporter and our number one fan. Yeah. Cool. So who made the decision to get back together to form Damage? Who was the one that made Me. the phone call? Was it? Was it? <laughs> he said, "Right, come. I'll cook you guys dinner. I'll come round. Let me sweeten you up before." How I did it you happen? Up. Uh, I, I, I remember it, um, getting on the phone to Noel um, after Michael Jackson's death. Oh, yes. Michael Jackson died and uh, we got on the phone and said, let's not leave this earth without us lot hooking up again. Mm. And I think you called Russ, um, but we had kind of been... I think you guys were chatting at mm. the time. Mm -hmm. So Noel called Russ, um, myself and Jade spoke, and then somebody got Corey. They all came to my house, had dinner. And we just said, wouldn't it be cool to just get our kids together and our, our missus together and just have some family time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the back of it, if somebody wanted to do a show, let's do it. So we did that one show, an agent got involved, and that turned into 20. Mm. And it, now, it all happened just, really organically. Yeah, organically. It wasn't, it wasn't a, like a conscious decision, let's get back together, you no. know? It just, it just all fell into place. Mm. You know? Also, a lot of a lot of the fans on Facebook and Twitter were like, oh, guys, where where are you? Of you course. guys were you guys yeah. were great. We need to see you back, and yeah. that kind of helped spur us on, saying, well, obviously mm. there's a market out there for us, and we need to do something. There yeah. was a Twitter campaign of get, get really? Facebook, 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 yeah. Facebook, sorry, yeah. Facebook, get get damaged yeah, back, back together. together yeah. So that was a big part of it as well. Oh, Thank that's you. Cool. It's nice to have guys like backing you and making yeah. Yeah. things online to get you guys back together. It's really cool. So, have you got any plans to release any new music? Are you working on any new music? Yeah, we have on. Um, it, what's, what's the date? It's March the fifteenth and sixteenth. We're yeah. playing a jazz cafe in London. Cool. And we're going to be recording a live album that night and also shooting a live DVD. So this year we'd like to release, you know, two nights with damage at the Jazz Cafe um, and then just use that to spur on some new material as well. So it's we going to be see. big. Yeah. It's going to be big. It's going to have some great features <laughs> there as well. Yeah. A couple of people coming in to sing with us. It's going to be an old school reunion. And Alicia Dixon has been like tweeting you. Is she going to be getting involved? Of course. Yes. 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 She's doing Absolutely. her thing right now and mm -hmm. apparently yeah. the girls Miss Teak might be getting back together. So, so I yeah. hear. So yeah. there's, there's a feeling. I think there's a, a, a real uh, feel for the, the nostalgia right now. Mm. You know, people kind people of, want it. They want this trusted music, yeah. you know, tried and tested. They want to go back to their youth, and it's good for bands like us. So you never know. Well, so you're yeah. doing those two dates. Have you got any plans to do anything else, like play any other shows this year? Yeah, for fans, yes. maybe... All over, yeah, all over the UK, absolutely. So once we get this live album out, we'll see where it goes from there. Again, it's organic, so we're kind of not knocking on the door and saying we need to do this because our lives are down the pan. Everyone's got children exactly, and different yeah. responsibilities. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we take it day by day, but the fans are already saying, can you come and give us a tour? 
So if the demand is there, then yeah. you guys it's are happy. There, to... So we just got to it's match there, with the agent and mm. get it happening. Putting it together. Cool. Okay. And how do you guys think the music industry has changed now compared to how you guys were doing it back in the day? Well, you, well. you, you just mentioned like the social media now. Mm. You know, back in the day when we was out, we would go out with flyers, giving people a piece of card with our name on it and a P.O. box address, you know? And that was your, your contact yeah. with, with your fans. Nowadays, it's so direct, you know? It's like, you can speak, it's like them having your mobile number, it's you can true. text each other. Yeah. So it's, it's great in that way, you know? I think music-wise, it's changed a hell of a lot. Um, maybe not for the better, but we're here to bring it back. Cool. Yeah. And others. And others, and do you think well, bands? Most, but mostly us. Most, yes, <laughs> mostly damage. Do you think bands are working harder than back when you guys were doing it, or has it become easier in that sense, or has it become harder? It's easier to break the market now because mm. you know you, you have shows like the X Factor, etc. Once you're on that show, it's instantaneous across the whole of the world. We had to travel up and down the motorway and come off of every junction, do a gig, <laughs> back on, you know. Radio just to, and TV. Radio, yeah. all of that, just yeah. to get it going. But I think there's um, more work now into just keeping the, the empire, you know, together as an artist. So if you're really successful, you've got so many more um, facets to what you're doing. Mm. Um, but no, I think the old school work that we did, it doesn't mm. compare. I think, doesn't I think nowadays it's, it's more about the package and it's not just about the music you know yeah. you, you have to have a a, a, a a cologne and you have to have a little dolly and clothing yeah, range yeah, clothing yeah. range and yeah, all the that the Spice Girls started a lot of that stuff yeah, yeah they did yeah. with the, the you know really expanding know, yeah. into all the different areas yeah. yeah so I think yeah in that in that in that um in that way it's definitely a lot different mm. Talking about the Spice Girls and their sort of brand, do you think One Direction have got to that level? Because they're, they're now being called the new sort of Spice Girls of our time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're but they're huge, you know. I think yeah. they're these really, like, cute kids, you know, and yeah. they're doing... They're amazing. They've really hit the market in, in America, yeah. which is yeah. a big, big market to break, you know. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think they're definitely up there. Absolutely, I, I yeah. Think we, we needed... Young girls needed um, a, a, somebody to follow mm. again, you know. So we had Justin Bieber and it was great. Music was getting a little bit too heavy and girls and boys were kind of like, what do we have for our age group? So it's great One Direction bring the fun and the youth and to music. And it's cool, it's British as well. Absolutely. Exactly, so and the older ladies are going to enjoy damage, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mature older yes. ladies. <laughs> like the refined men. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's yeah. great to have you back. Thanks thank for having you. us. Um, no worries, well, we wish you the best of luck Cheers, with this year. Guys.